Link 2012. I want the iron block. There's no case batteries down here, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and break through everything and light it all up first. The Frankensteins are really weak. Yeah, two hearts of damage. Not a lot. Oh wait, maybe they do more. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of rebels. Really slow though. Oh, because it's lagging right now. Let's see, what are we on? Seven? Yeah, this is about as small as I tolerate. Yeah, it's really laggy. They do do a lot of damage, actually. I'm wrong. Yeah! Get out of here! Ah, uh, redstone doesn't do anything. It's just there for the cosmetics. Aesthetics. There as a cosmetic. Yeah, this isn't quite as fun when it's lagging like this. I'm guessing my memory's up to the point where it's like, eh. So after this area, I'm gonna probably call it a quits for myself. Of course, you guys are probably getting one of these. I don't know if I'm gonna upload an episode every week or every day. I mean, I'm going to put out an episode every week or every day, once I have these all done. Oh look, this one's corrupted with nether rack. This is not in the original map, by the way. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, it looks good. Let's go ahead and loot. Diamonds, some of this, food. Did I get this yet? No. Oh, uh, saturating the group for the next three minutes. Nice. It's very good. Oh, well, how am I supposed to? I don't have much space left. Okay, let's go back up. Wait, does this open it up? Yeah, it opens it up. This doesn't go back, lead back up. This has zombie spawn eggs if I open the chest. So let's just open it. Oh, it's not just one zombie. I thought it was just one zombie. Nope, it spawns a whole lot of zombies. All right, let's go back up. This is the wrong way up, but I am curious as to what's in here. Wow, there's a lot of spawn eggs in here. So we definitely want to grab these spawn eggs. Because they're pretty rare. Non-renewable resource. Oh yeah, we wanted to keep those. Okay, perfect. Put a lot of this away. Yeah, I guess we can keep two potions. And go back down. I think we get our first set down here too. Our first actual set. Wait, where did I break in? Over here? So I would like these. So there's actually a lot of different things that could have happened there. Don't need diamond swords. Oh, there's another Frankenstein spawner up there. It's probably fire aspect. Yeah, we don't need that. How's the chest plate, though? Ooh, that's pretty nice. Attack damage and whatnot. Oh, what's this? A crossbow. Okay, so consumes two arrows per use. But it's power 15 and punch 2. That is pretty stinking awesome. And it gives a lot of knockback resistance, which is nice too. Did I get this chest? I'm pretty sure I did, but just to double check.
That's just a zombie head and some regen, which we don't need. This next portion, we really should have brought fire resistance for. Unless there's a book in here with it. Four diamonds! Yay! It did work that time, by the way. So that's nice. Instant health. Coal blocks. We don't need coal blocks. Project up. I will not take threes. Not at all. Instant health two. I guess we can take one instant health because this next part is going to be scary. Um, more XP bottles. Protection four. Unbreaking three. I'll take the unbreaking. I'm just giving players so much unbreaking now. Because at this point in time, your armor wears down really fast. So might as well give the players something useful. We have the Velocity's Potion activated now. Let's move on. You will need these. Don't try placing blocks. It won't work. You must use the lanterns. Your stuff will land here if you die. There's no fire resistance in this portion. That would make things too easy. Oh, so I don't give players fire resistance anyways. Well then. So you can explode a lot of these spawners, but as a result, you forfeit whatever's in them. Okay, so this is a cool portion where we go along. Okay, perfect, we got it. Nope, I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. Where, where's the start? Okay, we're, we're good. We're back at the start. We're safe. Oh! Okay, then. I was not expecting that. But I'm alright with that happening. This does have knockback, so... I believe they die if they, get, they fall down there, and then they get sent back to the start. Their items do. Oh, no. We get more of these guys. Yeah, and it's really laggy right now. Try to just read it more. Well, thanks for ruining my mojo. Right, they're down. Yeah, they're dead for the most part. I should really put away these sulfur tips, to be honest with you. So the emeralds this way, the items are this way. Oh boy, where's the pathway? If I place a torch down, will it stay there? No, it gets deleted. Yeah, I forgot I made it so that would happen. No, I remember. Oh yay, it, it knocks them back. That's sort of nice. Very good. Woo! We made it to this part. Which is actually very terrifying. So this is... I feel really bad for you now. Then again, things are supposed to get tougher. Who knows? Maybe this will be easy. I bet you are wondering. Link, what on earth is at the end? I'll give you a hint. You won't like it. The walls have fallen. I had nothing for Mega Walls. Nothing! So I decided to make a small tribute in the form of this. This thing says, if the items blow up, you can spawn another wither using this. And there's an ender chest for all your belongings, some stuff. This wither battle is unlike any wither battle you will ever encounter. This wither has special powers, and uh, he's got more health than usual. So let's leave him for just a little while as we finish up this portion. Oh, 
but I want to take down the blaze spawners of all of them. Okay, good. Oh! Almost fell. Ah! Wait, what happens? Oh! Oh! Well then, what am I worried about? What am I worried about? If I don't take any damage, I just come back to the start. I thought I died if I fell down. That's really nice. It's really, really nice. Oh, I accidentally, I thought that was a spawner for some reason. Because of particles. Normal mobs die. I don't die, though. Nope, I don't want to do that. I'm going to explode everything. Again. So we are pretty good Right, that didn't destroy everything. It was nice, though. Yeah, I just want to take them down to a reasonable extent. Ah! Ba -da -ba -da. Okay, there is something over here. Oh, yeah, I dodged that. Dodging it like a pro. We do have fire resistance, so that's nice. We don't have to worry a ton. The only issue is the knockback, and we do have knockback resistance, so. Not 100%, but we have decent knockback resistance. Making this part a singe. And we get the diamond blocks, which is nice. What's done with this? Oh, finally, I got the paper. I'm a monster, says Frankenstein. Hey, they actually kill themselves when they hit me because of my thorns. That's nice. Okay. Three experience levels. That's pretty good. Pretty stinky good. I probably should go up. And then get everything else after. Alright, let's go up. Ah! I'm glad I didn't go all the way up. That would've killed me. Oh, and these guys place fire down wherever you're at. Oh, good, I, the repulsor's working quite well. Oh boy. Nice, got him. Oh boy, this is getting crazy. And we're not even done. Nor near done. Okay. Boom. Pl and that actually lights up the lights, I think. Oh, nope, it doesn't for some reason. Plus two XP per kill set bonus. Minus one max health, minus a little bit of move speed. And it's unbreakable. That's a pretty good set. It's not the best. I'm not going to use it. There's much better sets. Alright, where to now? Alright, so I guess we can mine these. We have way too many diamonds now. Actually, no, because uh, like I said earlier, we'll be able to exchange them in the future for XP bottles. I think, yeah, diamonds have the best exchange rate, of course, because diamonds are the hardest to obtain. Granted, we're getting a ton right now. Ah, uh, none of these are worth wasting a thing on. Just waste some armor durability on them. Wait, am I not? Oh, I can't get it. Although I can. Here's what I can do. Their stuff will end up back here once they die. Once it falls, so I still can get the diamond blocks. <laughs> Only issues mining them. I can't believe this! I can't mine this thing of diamond block! 
Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, we got this over here. Wonderful. Ouch. Okay, so we have this one up here. Ah! Nuts! Crazy hooligans. Wow, there was nothing there. Apparently. Yeah, take that. Me doing nothing. There we go. Lag is helpful sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I think that's due to lag, that it's mining like that. Yeah, this is a really fun part. This was inspired by Legend... A lot of stuff in this is inspired by Legend of Zelda. But in A Link to the Past, which is one of my favorite Zelda games, uh, there is there are portions where you need the lantern in order to see the path. And so this is that, that same thing, because you have a lantern that shows you the path. It's also somewhat meaningful, but philosophical. Oh, is this a dead end? Oh, no, we can get, get over here. There we go. Woo! All right, so I think these doors open automatically, so we need to be careful. We head in. Let's, uh, let's actually drink some strength. Yeah, we got some stuff in there, definitely. Panic potions out. Boom. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're not going after me right now. Now they are. Let's portal lead back out. We don't want to go back out yet. Hey, he got knocked in the web. That's pretty funny. Hey, rebels. monsters. Ha ha! TNT in your face! That's an example of where the explosive arrow is helpful. Get in here. Have to mind you one thing to get to the other, making it a bit difficult. Okay, what do we have in here? Do we have an under chest? We don't need another. We don't need the lantern for sure, because it regenerates. Unbreaking and efficiency. I'll take it. Nice. I got uh, four diamonds and some other stuff. Okay, now the emerald, the, the, the last emerald in this area, the one with the wither, is the one I'm scared about. Because I know that one's going to be tough for us. we got to get it before the end of the episode. Okay, we got his head. Mady game developer, Vlad Impersonator. So this is, I guess, one of the gruesome parts of the map. It's codename B getting impaled. As you can see here, he's got the blood. Poor guy. No, don't imagine it. Don't imagine it. It's it's not good. It's spooky and bad. Ironic, but bad. It's there for a reason. There's <laughs> a reason behind that. Okay, we got all that stuff. We really need to do the wither boss fight, but before then, let's move on. Let's get suited up for that fight. Because it's going to be hard. I'm going to want to use strength too. I'm going to want to use a sword that does a lot of damage. We could use hope, probably. We need, the bow is going to be the biggest issue. So we're probably going to have to use the crossbow here. The power 15 bow. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to have to use the crossbow here. Oh! Well then. That's pretty funny. So since I placed down water, it extended the, the normal water, and so now it's way out here. It's going down, putting out all the lava. That's pretty funny. Okay, back to our base. Platin set. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So we definitely need projectile protection and blast protection for this boss. Thorns is not necessary. Um, code name B. We're going to go put that on the monument, actually. So that way we defeat the area. Right, code name B. Boom. Airhead placed. Area defeated. Developer's mansion. Wonderful. Okay, back to the residency. It'll stall all the junk books here. And lots of this stuff. Good. Good, good, good. So many diamonds, man. Look at this. We have 30... Five emerald uh, diamond ore. Which we'll definitely be using. Our Paladin set. Boom. 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 I think I am going to keep these on. Even though it would be a detriment to lose them. Actually, maybe not. Truth versus reality. Yeah, I'm a monster. I'm going to put that in there. Chest plate, put that in here. Books, unbreaking three. Unbreaking three. Crossbow, we're going to keep for now. I'm going to use it. Actually, we need to keep the heads in there for now. Oh, great. We need to put bodies away. Just for now, though. Oh, mermaid tears. Get back in here. I want you. It's been a while since I fought a wither, too. I used to be really good at it. I used to be so good at fighting withers, in fact, that I defeated one once without getting hit. With an axe. I actually I think I got hit once with an axe. I was using a, a diamond axe of all things. Repulsor might be nice for this, actually. So we're gonna keep it. Though we don't oh never mind, we don't need the fire protection. We're gonna use some something different. Stamina potion. Let's go ahead and put this away. Got all my spawn eggs down here. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, what's that? Get down here. Right. Explosive arrows. I don't know if explosions damage the wither, but we can check. We'll definitely check. Um, Alright, so let's put everything away that we're not going to use. And then get ourselves... We are going to use that, but don't you worry. Alright. So, armor-wise, I'm going to strip down. I'm going to put it all in here. Sword-wise, let's see if we have anything better. I highly doubt we have anything better. Smite is the only thing that can top damage. But we don't. We would need a legendary sword, and we don't have a legendary sword. Um, we might have a special sword. Yeah, we have like this one, Smite 10. I think this will do, sword-wise. Bow-wise, let's put this away. Are we going to use the crossbow, meaning we're going to need some arrows. A lot of arrows. Okay, that should be good enough. We're going to need... If we have any extended cheesy potions available... I 
I doubt we do. But if we did, we could use those. I'm gonna grab a. I'm gonna grab at least one of these though. To use before the battle. Uh, stamina. Eh. Let's just use strength one. And let's take two stamina potions. I don't know how long this battle is gonna end up being. We don't need a philosopher's potion. Actually, let's get a better cheesy potion here. Fire resistance, no, we don't need that. Beastly potion might help. Because this will give us wither already. Okay, this is beastly potion is actually improved regeneration. So I think we're going to use a beastly potion on top of all this. And of course we can keep a holy water available to use after the fight. That way it removes those effects. We want... What do we want? Do we need demon scale? No. Do we need medallion? Actually we might need it. Medallion of courage? Yes. Admin diamond? No. Uh, mermaid tears? No. Oh, we can keep it on. And this one is really good too. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna create a small little area of water. Let's go get another water bucket. Do we have any? Yeah. So we're gonna create an area of water that way we can jump in and get regen. Oh, never mind. We don't need that. We're not gonna need mermaid tears. Resistance too, though. Okay, never mind. We might want resistance too. So we'll get in the water and then we'll be able to have resistance. Um. Okay, it looks like we're pretty good weapon-wise and all that, and all potion-wise. Now, we do need armor. Armor-wise, I like that chest plate we made earlier today. I, well, I mean, for you guys, it's probably a few days ago. And then... We do want projectile protection. But this looks really good. I'm gonna repair this. We have two blast protection pieces. This one has projectile protection and fire protection. I don't know. It's not that great. Okay. Good. Okay, good. So we have blast protect two pieces of blast protection. So we aren't going to get hurt by the blast, but we do want regular protection and we do want projectile protection yet. So, where is rig projectile protection? Fire protection? Eh, I don't like this. Okay, so we have these. So I can put protection on these. Protection four. And I'm breaking three. Right, these are going to be really good. Uh, and then we just need projectile protection on the pants. And we don't have, we don't currently have a pair of pants with projectile protection. Though we can make some. There are plenty of diamonds. See if we can enchant it first. Do I doubt it? Nope, just protection. All right, so we're going to make this projectile protection. Four and unbreaking two because we don't care about this these pants that much. All right, so this is a good setup, I'd say. We are going to be a monster. We're gonna make a little pool of water. Oh, we can get some extra resistance in there. We're gonna use be using a beastly potion, which is gonna give us extra regen throughout the whole battle. Let's take a few notch apples if we have any. Actually, let's just take one. So we'll have a notch apple on us, just in case. Panic potion, of course. Uh, got a really overpowered bow. And of course, we're going to be strength, strength and speed it up. All right. Yeah, and these apples will help okay. with uh, keeping our shields up. Now, I'm not sure how much extra damage he does. I'm guessing he doesn't. 
I'm guessing we'll be just fine, uh, but he does spawn withers. That's what I'm worried about most. Which I really should have gotten more base protection. So instead of blast protection, oh well. We're just a monster now. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to do exchange time torches at all. Okay. Let's go down. We might we do have a bit of lag too, which is gonna make it less exciting. I'm probably way over prepared for this, but I just know that I made this difficult to beat, so I'm making sure that we're not going to have a problem. Oh, we might need a lantern. That's okay, we got plenty over here. Hey, we got some junk too. Oops. Right, we don't need that. Need that, need that. Right. This weather is going to be very tough. Ugh, I'm terrified. Okay. Oh, we're not going to be able to use shields though because of the PC potion. It's gonna be okay. So we're going to drink this first and foremost. We drink this. We're going to drink this. All right, and I think we're mostly ready. Drink this to saturate up. I, I forgot to make a pool of water. Let's make it perfect. It's an unlimited pool too. Okay, let's go. I am terrified. This is the crossbow, right? Perfect. Oh my, I forgot that this crossbow made it so you couldn't move it all. Maybe I should have considered using those other pants. It's actually taking down his health. That's nice. But at the same time, it's also hurting me a lot. So. Yeah, he definitely has increased regen. Thankfully, he does like, no damage to me. And his Wither Skeletons are futile, uh, are just keep getting wrecked due to the fact that he's doing so much damage to them. Yes, finally, I can kill him now. This is way, way easier than I thought it was going to be. Hey, no, the chest with the milk and stuff in it. Hey, I got the nether star and the emerald. Now we can like drink the milk to remove all the effects. Actually, I'm curious. Okay, so it's not taking down my armor, which is nice. Oh, wait a minute. You can technically get regen three if you go to a wither fight and do that. Interesting. So that we got basically Lewis's head. I believe he's a Mega Walls player. Don't quote me. Nether star and the emerald. Boom! So that's all the emeralds for the area. Woohoo! That was pretty hard. And this bow, man. This is a great bow. Didn't even use up all the sulfur tips. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh yeah, and we actually take fall damage. I forgot. Oh, but we can... 
Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, no, let's go this way. That just is actually sort of dangerous because it does delete items. So the next area is glitched. Oof. I don't know what sort of armor I want for that. I know that they deal big damage. And it's weird. <laughs> So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Glad that wasn't too bad, though. Thanks to all that protection. I think the main issue was doing damage. That boss, I believe he had extra health and extra regen. If I set it up correctly. I know that that was very difficult to do. Oh! We didn't look at all the different Mega Walls references and whatnot. Oh, well, whatever. In that little area, there was a lot of cute Mega Wall stuff. Uh, but that boss was tricky to make because his MBT wouldn't work properly. I can't remember how I ended up doing it. I think I ended up needing to modify part of his MBT instead of spawning him with a particular MBT. Because whenever you would try to spawn him with a command block, he would do the spawn animation instead of being at the health you wanted him to be in. So that was annoying. But anyways, we did the air. Actually, we should keep this lantern as a keepsake. It is quite nice. Oh, it has 10 attack damage. That's a lot. Quite a bit. Alright. So the question is, do I end it up? Do I end the episode here? I think I will. I might record later today, but it is pretty late. It's 7 o'clock, I need to eat, I want to do my daily stuff. And... But that's one more area down. We have, all we have left is Glitched, the main attraction, and Nostalgia. I'm thinking that each of those is going to take me a weekend. So, we'll see how I do with that. Until then, though, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Keep being awesome, and uh, see you in the next one.